Hi, my name is Danny Fleming of the MA Properties team and I am here to tell you, um, to explain to you in the Selling Essentials videos of who your agent represents. And because it's Selling Essentials, I'm going to focus on the listing agent, the person that represents you when selling your home. This is a really important topic. Um, and, and, and a lot of people are quite confused as to how it works. So I want to try and make it less confusing. And, and I hope I don't confuse it more. Um, there is one agent who represents you wholly and solely. Their job is to get you the highest price, um, best terms and conditions when selling your home. They should be representing you. Did you hear, uh, I mentioned, should be representing you wholly and solely. They should only be representing you. Unfortunately, too many um, listing agents think that it's okay to represent the buyer as well and they get into dual agency. And then anything that your agent is going to say to you, you're going to be sort of thinking, hmm, I wonder if that benefits me or I wonder if that benefits the buyer. You should never ever have those questions about who your agent represents in a, in a transaction. In selling your home, it should be you wholly and solely. So you never ever want your agent to represent the buyer um, when you're selling. You never ever want your agent to represent the buyer. Um, they've got to be focused on you, getting you the highest price, best terms, best conditions. Now your agent, your listing agent, can help you buy a home, a different home. It doesn't mean that they can't work with you as a buyer and be your buyer's agent, but when we're talking about your home, they are only representing you as the listing agent. If you want to buy another home, they can help you buy another home and work with you as a buyer's agent with that. It's all about the house. Um, you want them working for you as a listing agent, you don't want them working as a buyer's agent for the same house because if they're doing that, they're working with a different party, a different group of people to buy your home as well. You don't want that. When we're talking about you specifically, they're working with you as a listing agent to sell your home and they can be working with you as a buyer's agent to buy another home. I hope that's clarified things a little bit. Um, there's a whole lot more to it, but just for clarity's sake, you only want to be dealing with your listing agent and who your listing agent should only be working with you when it comes to selling your home. Okay. <laughs> I hope that's, uh, did that explain it or not? Um, yeah, don't get into the trap. Don't get into the trap. You will hear this. Don't get into the trap of an agent saying to, you know, if I represent the buyer as well, I can give you a cut on the fee, on the fee to sell your home. I can, I can do that. I can give you a cut. It's going to be cheaper to sell if I work with the buyer as well. Worst thing you can do. Um, Worst thing you can do because that um, your agent is not going to be trying to get you the highest price for your home. They're just going to try and find a buyer who's not represented by a buyer's agent. Um, you will always get a higher price for your home if it's exposed to the larger market um, and all of the other buyer's agents that are out there who are representing um, buyers will have the opportunity to buy your home. Never, ever, 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 ever sell it to a, to a buyer of the listing agents and they're not even showing your home. Okay, listing agent should only represent you, only you. Anyway, I think I'm, I think I've belabored that point um, strongly enough. Um, I love talking about this. If you'd like uh, to hear anything else or chat about anything in person, please contact me. Here's my contact details. Bye.